Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and this is Frame by Frame. And I just have a few words to say today about John Huston, the great American director and screenwriter and actor. He was the son of Walter Huston, who was a great character actor, and he was much in demand as a screenwriter in the 1930s. In 1941, uh, he told Jack Warner at Warner Brothers he wanted to make his first film, and Jack Warner responded by giving him a remake of a film that had been made twice before, a film that became The Maltese Falcon in 1941, which is one heck of a debut for any filmmaker to make. Humphrey Bogart, Peter Lorre, Sidney Greenstreet, Mary Astor, one of the great crime films of all time. What is it? The uh, stuff that dreams are made of. During World War II, he did some of the most remarkable documentaries um, of actual combat. Uh, the Battle of San Pietro, uh, which remains one of the greatest records of an actual combat action in cinema history. Uh, he continued after the war doing a wide variety of films. The Asphalt Jungle, which is one of the great crime films. The Red Badge of Courage with Audie Murphy, which is based on Stephen Crane's novel. The African Queen, of course. Moulin Rouge, the comedy Beat the Devil, a version of Moby Dick, uh, The Misfits, Marilyn Monroe's last movie, uh, Clark Gable's last movie, one of the great films from script by Arthur Miller. He also began to act, you know, for example, in films like Roman Polanski's Chinatown, in which he plays the corrupt Noah Cross. Uh, he also directed films that perhaps he shouldn't have directed, things like Annie, uh, just basically to, to keep the bills paid. But uh, he was someone who always uh, paid attention to what he wanted to put on the screen. He was absolutely uncompromising in his choice of material. And uh, he worked absolutely almost up to his death. His last film as a director, he made Pritzi's Honor, which is a great crime film, a com crime comedy with Angelica Houston and, and, and Jack Nicholson. And then after that, he made an adaptation of The Dead. And that was his last film as a director. But with a career spanning from 1941 to 1987, John Huston is one of the great American directors.